built in the Sonoran Desert, Biosphere 2 looks like something from a sci-fi novel. The three-acre facility contains five different ecosystems and was designed to be a smaller version of Earth. Its purpose was to explore whether humans could one day live in biospheres in outer space. It was built to be a closed system where we were going to learn you know, how long can people live in a materially enclosed setting? Can they grow enough food to sustain themselves? Do they have enough water to recycle and reuse? Is their atmosphere re rebreathable and sustainable? But as B2 turns 20 in September, many question whether the $30 million project was a scientific success or a failed experiment. In the early 90s, the original plan was to have 50 missions where scientists spent two years living inside B2. But six months into the first mission, crew members were already seeing major problems. That's what happens in the Antarctic. That's what happens in, in space for long periods, of, when people are up there for long periods of time. And that's what happened to us in the biosphere. You break into these really entrenched factions. They're not cliques that, you know, kind of evolve and move. They were entrenched. And even today, honestly, almost 20 years later, even today, those Two factions have never come back together again. Air leaks, dropping oxygen levels, and spikes in cockroach and ant populations also contributed to the crew's growing list of problems. By the time the second mission ended in 1994, the live-in phase of Biosphere 2 was over. But since then, B2 has not gone to waste. Today, the University of Arizona uses the facility as a research lab for climate change. And next month, workers begin building a new land evolution observatory to study rainwater. It is now evolved into really a unique environmental research facility. There's nothing of this size or scale anywhere in the world that allows us to control everything from temperature to precipitation to composition of atmospheric gases at a field scale or a large scale level. The futuristic buildings also remain a major tourist spot for the public, attracting thousands of visitors every year. Nearly 20 years later, scientists never finished Biosphere 2's original mission, but some still believe that it was an experiment worth taking. Chris Havlick, The Associated Press.